Chronically blue. <laughs> I'm Tails. Wow, cool, this flying forge has just transformed. But now is not the time to admire Eggman's technology. He has just challenged us to clear the sky deck. Okay, let's go for it, Sonic. Amy awaits us. Hello, all of my sleepy bears. My name's Sonic Blue. Welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure DX. And we are going to have a unique time, I can tell you that much. So there's quite a few things that uh, we need to do one of them is actually this is allegedly like a really high platform somewhere above the rest of the ship Apparently, I don't know what we'll figure it out so, this must be the sky deck, huh? Yes, Tails So there's very few field emblems that I have not obtained, but that's okay Once you finish the game you are very oh, much Tails. able to go through and uh, look around as well as just find and get the emblems that you need. One of them is actually really well hidden, uh, very similar to the one requiring us to hit the switch. So there's quite a few things actually in order for us to like try to find all the emblems and whatnot. Just gonna go ahead and go right on over here. No, don't mind me. <laughs> so yes, as you can tell, we are already half halfway through the stage with tails and we don't have to do like all 37 things that we did with sonic we really just have to get to the goal and that's about it so if you just play around with tails flying a little bit you'll probably be fine in fact i'm going to try to do a little bit of something right here and just like that should be right here yep it is 110 and that's that just the easiest thing to do with tails just fly around and you fight figure it out you know it's nothing too too difficult but we do have a boss battle coming up which i'm sure you know of that wasn't too bad. thank you tails all right yeah is that it sonic we should check out the bridge Oh, should we now? Oh, hello. <laughs> There's just so many weird things to look at in this room, and, you know, it's, it's unique. It really is. Like, we can even, like, mess around in here for a little bit. Anyway, I don't believe we can use the trains, but we can afterwards. So we're just going to go ahead and go right here into the middle platform. Granted, there we've gotten all the field emblems of Sonic. Like, all, all of them that we could possibly get with Sonic, we've gotten. There's a few with Knuckles that we have to get. Sonic! Tails! Oh, you're a bit late. Not the birdie! That's the Chaos Emerald! What is your wish, Master? Get rid of these pests! Give them all you got! Aye, aye, Master Robotnik. I'll leave it up to you, Gamma. Now, if Eggman said more menacing, it's because he is. They really did record the lines in order to give it, like, the correct perspective of who's talking and, like, who finds who more menacing, which I find really cool. Tails, take Amy and get out of here. Well, what about you? I'll find 
Eggman and put a stop to his evil ways. Gotta love those explosions. You thought I was preemptive. Nope, I was correct. Is very quiet. I'm finished. Chaos was defeated, and now my egg carrier is ruined. No matter. I will destroy Station Square anyway. a dud. I can't believe this. Ah, I'll go and deal with this myself. Oh no! I'd better get to that missile before he detonates it! Don't. For Eggman. The fate of Station Square depends on me. Oh, Sonic! I've changed a lot since I've started hanging with Sonic. But I can't depend on him forever. I know I can do this by myself. Okay, Eggman, bring it on! Now is not really time for some self-reflection. Anyway, <laughs> Tails really just sounded like he was waiting for that paycheck. Like he, he was just like, oh no, I guess I better do it. Like he was, he was like already tired of it. Then again, you gotta understand that when it comes to voice acting, uh, they do like four hour segments of just recording the same lines in order to get like the right take and you have to sound the same the entire time because you're playing a character you know your character has to sound the same so it's like easily identifiable and it is just like a nightmare from what i've heard but i i appreciate everything that the voice actors do yeah i think i'm going the right way ish and yes, I am just speedrunning this more or less. It's because we have stuff to do. <laughs> like, in the nice way possible, we have quite a few things that we need to do in order to uh, make sure that we get things going on the schedule that I have here. We can go and grab that. Why not? Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
so much for that schedule. Um, <laughs> that's fine. But yes, if you die, then Eggman will just magically reappear next to you in order to keep the race interesting, I guess. <laughs> but once we go ahead and finish this, then there's going to be a boss, a boss battle that is unique to Tails solely, which is super cool. And then after that, then it's just going to be uh, skipping the credits and trying to go through and just get the field emblems that we missed before we get like too far in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Now this is the part that I actually find quite difficult because you really gotta like play with the altitude a little bit. What you have to do is you just have to like do a little mix between holding the button and just like pressing it in order to like help balance tails. The more you play around with it the better you have a grasp for it. But we might be within range in order to do this. I love the little graphics. They're so cute. Such a cute little attention to, de to, to attention to detail. Oh, My goodness. No! It's robotic. So you beat me to the missile, you little best. I will make you all pay for this. Fool. Away. Before I make mincemeat out of you. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. You make my goodness. Um so yeah, the most menacing that uh we've ever seen Eggman to be here. No way. So if you don't know what to do here, uh first grab some rings. And second, he's going to hop, and once he smashes a foot down, then you're going to do a, a, little, a little bunny hop. This is now. Not supposed to be horrible. And you could just keep attacking right into the Eggmobile, or you can jump into it. Either way, whatever you feel like. It, it's completely fine. But he's going to do a little bit of stompies, and that's about it. Really good at using, like, flamethrowers and bombs and just as many things as possible, but that doesn't mean that he knows how to use them well, just that he knows how to activate them. It's kind of like when you have a, a younger sibling and they just decide to use all of the uh, draw fours at the start of the game. And you're just like, you're not doing this the best way they possibly could. And they're like, I don't care, I'm gonna win. And then they lose. And they're like, how did I lose? I played all the best cards at the start. And it's like, say it again, but slower. I played all the best cards at the start. There you go. Yes, that part. That part. If you play all the best cards at the start, then you're just going to have garbage cards for the rest of the time. They can't be good cards unless there's also bad cards. Now, you will know when you are close because he will stomp three feet as opposed to just two, which we're going to see uh, up next. He's not going to get away with this. Yeah, you can more or less tell whenever the life bar is on its, like, final little bit. And despite Eggman walking around, unless he slams his foot down, there will not be a shockwave. Yeah, if there was a shockwave every time, then it would be a little more difficult, but still. It, it's nothing horrendous. It's not Final Egg from Sonic 2. You know, it's not like you have to defeat two bosses with no rings and no checkpoint. Which, that was so annoying, I will tell you firsthand. <laughs> My goodness, the amount of game overs I got at that point. Uh, my... Wow. <laughs> it's all I can really say is just, wow. And it was just so annoying <laughs> in order to get all those game overs there. Now, at some point, he's definitely going to stomp around. But, yep, here it is, actually. Nope, that's fire. Fire. There we go. Yes, as I said, he is going to indeed do it all three times. And then once you hit him, just make sure to grab a ring. But once his health is gone, you don't have to worry about the hitbox anymore. So it's time to see the cutscene, and then I will see you before the credits start, actually. Hey, I did it! You saved the day! You're the best! I did it all by myself!
credits. <laughs> so yes, that is the end of Tales story. Uh, it's not the longest, it's not the shortest. I feel like it's alright. A lot of the things go into a bunch more detail. But uh, in the Sonic X show, Tails actually does defuse the bomb and the rocket is not a dud. Anyway, uh, we, I'm going to see you all right now. We're going to go get some field emblems. Sin. Which is like a blade. Or a, a, a fish. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got the emblem for completing Tails Story, which is great. We're currently on a total of 13 emblems per character. Whether or not that's correct or not, it's probably not. But you know what I mean. Uh, I would like to bring up something while I am slowly getting us over in order to the correct area. Uh, first off, you can view the, you can you can view the ending of the character once you have 100% of their story, as well as I was watching a uh, Tool is B run of Wii Sports, and apparently, if you get a hole in one. <laughs> Um, so, let me go ahead and rephrase that. So, what happens is, uh, in Wii Sports, you know, you get a hole-in-one. And, for us, it's like, hole-in-one. However, <laughs> so the person changed the language to Germany for some reason. I, I don't know why they just decided to. And when they did that, uh, you get a unique word. Okay, so somehow we need to get all the way up to that very top platform, which is going to be a little unique for us. But we're going to have to hold off on that until we have Knuckles. Knuckles is probably the best person in order to get that. But fear not, there is one emblem that we can actually get. Also, yes, you can collect uh, rings in the overworld. Whether or not they transfer over, who knows. But there is the emblem right over there. And it said that we have to use Tails in order to get to that little top area. Um, how, I'm not too sure. I'm be, oh, we, we, man, look at that. Maybe we can, actually. Oh, yeah, we totally can. I said it was the top of this thing. But once we hit this button, you know, that obviously changes the ship. And we're going to come up here, fly right up on here. And there we go, that's that emblem. Now, there's one that we definitely have to wait to for Knuckles in order for us to get, which I'm quite alright with that, but, oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, here, let me just go over here, like, no, and I'm like, ah, yes, that would indeed be the incorrect way. <laughs> Man, if only someone told me about that. Huh, if only. Now, at the very least, we can go down here and switch it back to normal. Or, you know, we have Dr. Eggman's little the thing here, whatever this is. We can actually even fly up here if we wanted to. And if we just stand right here on the little chair, that'll move it forward so we can swap it back. Just like that. Yeah, just because, like, you're supposed to go somewhere with one character doesn't mean that you have to. You could very easily just like mess around and like find different ways to do things that you're not supposed to, and it's really fun. <laughs> you you'll never know exactly what you find. But this is actually the one for Mystic Ruins, which is great because that's actually where we're going next. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. That's nice. Now the two areas that we need to go to, they're not they, they are both in Mystic Ruins. First and foremost, second of all. One of them is highly recommended that you go through it as Knuckles. The second one, uh, it can really just be anyone. So there is allegedly an emblem somewhere here. If you just stay to the right, more or less, uh, there should be an explorer and like a fallen tree almost, and there'll be an emblem there on your path. Which, you know, a little unique. Like that, actually. <laughs> See, I know what I'm doing. Now, aside from that, there is also this really big uh, ledge here that we're going to visit as Knuckles because that's where one of his power-ups are. As well as we're going to... Eh, no, 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 I was so close. No. <laughs> anyway, you see the emblem there. You know what I'm trying to do. But fear not, we will get it. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I try to do things 
even if it's not in the right order or the way that I'm supposed to do it. I still do things. Now, there is one that we legitimately have to wait to be Knuckles in order to get because it requires a uh, power-up that only Knuckles has. Uh, and that's the use of a shovel. Why Tails can't use a shovel, I don't know, but I don't question it. I just go with it. I, I just play the game. I didn't make it, okay? I, I just do what I can. Now, there's another one. Oh, no. Yes, there's another one. There's about four in each level. That sounds correct. Yes. Now, the great thing about once you have completed a character's entire story is that you can go through and explore the land as well as there's also the mission mode that is available i would not be starting that here because thankfully that requires a completely separate thing but oh we really do have to wait for knuckles that's fine i feel like we've done quite enough with our little yellow fox here or orange however you want to see color but i think that's about enough here so obviously you know the next time we're going to be knuckles and we are going to uh, finish up the field emblems which is something i have not done before so that's that's kind of exciting actually <laughs> i really swore that there was one in here i don't know why i thought that was you know what it might have been a mission actually i think that might have been it I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain that's exactly what it was and i just confused it with an actual emblem for the missions you don't actually get an emblem for every single mission you complete uh, unfortunately that I don't know why, but I just decided, yeah, no, nice try. Anyway, that's about all. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my sleepy bears.